welcome. Hello, my crochet friend. Welcome back to week two of my temperature blanket. This was week one. So this is going to be the update of week two, today's video. So we are going to be doing the next seven days together. So I'm pretty excited to share with you guys. Also, I am loving, loving using my temperature blanket planner. If you don't have one, um, you can get from my Etsy shop. So I'm going to be leaving the link in the description, also in the comments. So feel free to check it out. So let's get on with the very first row. So for what I can see, day eight. So this is day eight of my temperature blanket. And for day eight, it was nine degrees. Remembering that I am doing the highest temperature of the day. So nine degrees, it's using the shade blue. And I was actually waiting. That's why it took me a little bit longer to upload this video because I was actually waiting for this yarn to arrive because I don't have it anymore. I just have like a skein. The coolest thing about this yarn is that you can get the yarn from the middle. So just pull, let's find it. Ah, look, it's right here. And because this yarn, it's super big, as you can see, it's bigger than my head. It's really, really hard to use when it's on the outside because when you pull, it's super heavy. So getting it from the inside, it's super helpful. And this, it's amazing about this yarn. I love it. And all of them, it's the same thing. So. Yeah, this is my new yarn that I'm going to be using today. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and do the next row with the blue. If you wanna see the very first week of my temperature blanket, also the planning and kind of like a complete guide on temperature blankets, I'm going to be leaving the video in a little eye and also in the description below and also in the comments. So feel free to check it out if you wanna see the very first week of my temperature blanket. So I am done with day eight. This is how it's looking like. I am loving the burgundy with the blue. Looks really nice. So now let's check our planner. For day nine, it was eight degrees. So we are going to continue with the blue. So I'm going to chain one, turn and continue with the blue. And I'm going to be doing the next row with the blue. So day nine, now completed. This is how it looks like, as you can see. I love this little thick stripe of blue. Pretty excited about that. So now for day 10, it was 13 degrees. So we are going to be adding now one row of brown. So I'm going to be doing it with the brown now. I love brown so, so much. I'm so happy with all the colors that I've chosen for my blanket. You know that I mostly do all my projects with all of these shades. So I will be super happy to have a blanket with all of these shades together. It's going to be kind of like my comfort blanket because I'm going to love it. So I'm going to now do one row with brown. So I have just finished day 10 with the brown and we are going to continue now with the brown for the next two rows because for days 11 and 12, it was also 13 degrees. So we have to continue the two next rows with the brown. And also I wanted to add something here because I've just updated the PDF, the document on Etsy because I completely forgot to add one row, one line of squares at the bottom of each month because for some reason my brain didn't work when I was doing this and I thought we only needed five 
little rows of squares, but no, we need six. So I've just added that and I re-uploaded to Etsy. So if you did purchase this planner, it's now all fixed. You can just re-download it and reprint it and you're good to go. Now we don't have any more mistakes. And thank God that I found out about this in January and not at the end of the year. <laughs> now mistake fi fixed and next page. So also, not next page, going back to mistakes. So when I was doing, filling out my, my planner, I've decided for some reason, maybe I was thinking of 2023, <laughs> And then I put the lowest degree to be three degrees and below, but then the following degree that I've, the following range of degrees that I've chosen was five to nine. So where is number four here? So, so from three, I've jumped to five and forgot about four. So we don't have four degrees this year. So, so what I did I've, when I redid my planner, I've just added four degrees below for the lowest temperature. <laughs> oh well, <laughs> I was probably just sleepy that day that I did all these mistakes, but who, who knows? All right, um, with that being said, we can now continue. So I just wanted to put it out there just to let you know the little mistakes that I did. We are humans, we make mistakes. So yeah, next page now, let's forget about it. So I'm going to now do two rows of brown. So here we have for days 11 and 12. This is how it looks like. We have three rows of brown. That looks incredible. I am loving it. So now for the last two days, for day 13 was 10 degrees and for day 14 was 12 degrees. So we are going to be using burgundy for the last two days of this week so i got a new ball of yarn as you can see with burgundy also i've noticed so many mistakes this week oh my goodness so <laughs> what can we do this one that i had at home it's a little bit darker than this one it's not that noticeable but i can see it that it's just a tad a little lighter i know that they have different types of burgundy. They have like a darker bur burgundy and they have a lighter burgundy in which is this one. So I think I've ordered the wrong one. So yeah, that happened. But for what I can see, it's not that big of a difference. So I'm not going to redo my blanket. No, 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 no. I'm just going to continue <laughs> from here and I'm going to be using the new uh, ball of yarn that I got from Tesland yesterday. So yeah. Let's do it now. The next two days, the last two days of this week is going to be with burgundy. So once I have the next two days completed, I will be back and then I'm going to show you how this week looks like. Oh well, the very first two weeks of January looks like because it's already growing. Look at this, I'm so excited. Oh my God, I'm loving it. It's actually not that different. Thank God, look at this. It's just a tad a bit lighter. And because it's right at the beginning, you don't even notice that much. So I am really, really happy about that because I thought I was going to have to redo this. And oh, no, 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 no. I wouldn't be happy if I had to redo this. So the following week is now completed and check this out. I am loving the shades all together. Oh my goodness. I will be sharing with you weekly updates. Otherwise, if it's not weekly, then it's probably going to be twice a month or once a month. Let's just see how the months go. Then I can show you weekly. Otherwise, if I finish every 15 days, I can show you every 15 days or monthly. Let's see how it goes. I'm not going to pressure myself too much. 
I want this to be a nice and relaxing and enjoyable temperature blanket. I don't want to rush. I don't want to stress myself. And because we are running a little bit late, I can already see that next week we are going to be having some super cold days. So we are going to be adding some cream into next week's rose. So I'm pretty excited to add the cream for next week and so that we have a different shade going on as well not only brown burgundy and blue <laughs> so yeah i'm pretty excited for next week this blanket is going to be so incredible and look at the size this is going to be a family blanket i'm pretty excited about that as well they're going to be so cozy on the sofa with this blanket i cannot wait and it's actually growing super fast i'm not sure if it's because i'm using uh, double crochets and single crochets together but it's actually growing super fast hopefully i'm not gonna have to end my blanket before the end of the year if it's not too too long hopefully and also i've calculated uh seven days in my blanket so seven rows it's actually one hour to complete is around one hour so 63 minutes because it's nine minutes each row to complete so seven days is actually one hour that's why i actually just do in one sitting and that's what i'm thinking of doing so i'm just going to choose one day oh well it's going to be probably the weekend uh saturday and sunday because then i can check the temperatures um, of that week and then I'm just going to sit down and record for you guys that's why you'll probably see me with the same outfit the entire video because one hour it's pretty quick to crochet the week so I am going to be happy to do that in one sitting and if you have any questions about the temperature blanket you can also watch my very first temperature blanket video I'll leave linked in the description also in the comments also if you want to get the planner i'm going to also leave in the description and also in the comments so feel free to check it out so yeah this is the little update that i have for you guys for this week i really hope you have enjoyed and i'll see you in my next video bye